Okay, many people are still asking how to weld thin metal. This time, I'm making a video to show you how, friends. For this welding process, we first measure the material using a digital caliper. The material I'll be welding is galvanized steel with a thickness of 0.8 millimeters combined with a thicker steel piece. For the thicker steel, I'm using a black pipe with a thickness of 2 millimeters, friends. So, some people asked how to weld thick and thin steel together. I've made this tutorial, so watch carefully. First, we tack weld the pieces like this. Just tack weld enough to hold them securely. And once they are strong, we proceed with full welding. It's been a long time since I made a tutorial. And many people are still asking. How do you weld thin metal, bro? The method remains the same. For welding two materials of different thicknesses, we start by welding the thicker piece first, then direct the weld towards the thinner piece. When welding different thicknesses, always begin with the thick metal and then move towards the thin metal, like this. Now, many people also ask, bro, what amperage should I use? For thin metal, I use around 80A. Adjust it according to your household. Power supply and find a comfortable setting. I recommend between 75A and 85A. Here, I'm using 80A. Let's check the result. The weld is perfectly fused with no holes and the bead is neat. This is just a sample demonstration of welding thick and thin metal together. Next, let's weld the other side. The process is the same, first, tack the thicker metal. Then move towards the thinner one, like this. Watch closely. For the welding rod, don't hold it too vertically. Tilt it at about 35 to 45 degrees, friends. If the rod is too vertical, it often sticks and won't ignite. To prevent this, tilt it slightly and drag it a little at the start to help the molten pull form smoothly. Let's tap the slag off and check the result. It looks great, perfectly fused. If you're welding thin metal to thin metal, and it's too thin, you can use a filler rod, friends. Now, let's check the amperage. Again, it's set at 81A. Let's measure the thickness. Again, it's 0.8 millimeters, friends. All right, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll make a video based on your requests in the future. See you in the next video, friends.